Hello there, guys. This is um, A1C. This is the live stream for Prussian Prince. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Got second one one championship, second group stage. Point man from Warriors of Calm up against Love Mo from I don't know which clan he is in right now. Changes and clans. You said the, there was a little bit of this was a little bit of a classical match because these two were sort of like uh, played each other before. Yeah, played each other quite many times. Also in Shogun Two. And they did have a little drama thing back in Shogun 2, but it ah, seems see. to have calmed down. So there's the ready from Point Man. Point Man going with a pretty pretty Wait. standard build for <laughs> Point Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, okay. Yarikachi, a lot of Spear Levies, a lot of Shogatai, a lot of Melee, like, and a lot of Cav. Pure Rush. But like, you, sh you do know that... Uh, well, we shouldn't say that because, like, uh, just for the fairness. Uh, oh, I know, like, it doesn't really, it shouldn't it, really matter. Yeah, but, it, like, it doesn't change anything at this stage. Yeah, like, like some players prefer not to have their armies. All right, all right, my bad, my bad point, man. Like if that. you lose this, <laughs> you can blame it on me. No, you can blame it on yourself because you're horrible. I'm no, just kidding. So, from what I remember, I believe uh, Love Mo likes to. Well, Point Man does like to use melee armies, and Love Mo likes to use. Uh, well, sort of like a mix of uh, melee and guns, if I remember correctly. Sometimes it doesn't go with. Well, it doesn't really go with that much cab, but I mean, it's been a while since I last played them, so. I don't know. Well, this is definitely going to be an interesting match. I think both players are at high caliber. And here we go. So, for I'm going to go over Point Man's build. He's got in the front two Spear Levy, both vanilla. And actually, another Spear Levy on his left and one on his right. Direct against some sort of cav attacks. Then he's got three Shogita units, all quite heavily upgraded. Two of them are... Well, actually, all of them are rank six, maxed up, uh, maxed out attack upgrades. His general is a Bushido general, full Bushido, so he hasn't doesn't have any kind of mix. He's also got some uh, cav on the right, uh, well, Yarikachi, and then cav in. Uh, yeah, well, probably. Well, yeah, he does have two more Yarikachi. On his left, both vanilla, and he has some other units that I'm not gonna name. They're hidden. Okay. Go over Love so Mo's Mo, he's got a Yariki on the left capturing the workshop. In the middle, he's got uh, more Yariki. All of his cav is pretty highly upgraded. The one on the left, I think, has more upgrades than the one in the middle. And then, uh, unlike Point Man, he actually does have some firepower. He's got a uh, United States Marines here. Uh, high ranked, a lot of reload. And then he has uh, Black Tortoise Force. But he also has a lot of melee units here. He's got some Shogatai. Uh, one of them is vanilla, and the other one is uh, unupgraded. And then a third melee unit here, which is another Shogatai sitting at two chevrons. So in terms of melee, I'd say Point Man has the, the distinct advantage. It's going to boil down to how uh, Luvmo uses his cab and his guns. Yeah, thing is, though, that Luvmo got the workshop and Sword Dojo, and those are really going to help him out in the melee engagement, and as we can see right now, the Arikachi of Point Man are getting peppered by the general of Love Mo, so that's one thing going wrong for Love Mo. He's already got 14 kills, and that Arikachi is now isolated from the rest of uh, Point Man's troops. This is a very awkward play, I guess, on Point Man's part. Um, he's trying to push, he's now isolated, and look, these units are going to get hit by that Shogatai. Here comes his Cav. Cav engagement gonna start, already started on the right side. So, I'll say that uh, 
cap of Love More gonna be very cost efficient just because of the dojos that he has. Oh, this is not a great I mean, engagement. Gonna... This is not a great engagement for Point Man. Yeah. He's going to lose almost all of his cab in this vicinity. Here comes Liv Momore reinforcements. Shogunid Guard Cavalry coming in. He's just going to be able to overpower uh, those units here. And as you said, he did have the melee advantage uh, and the workshop advantage for that fight. Uh, Point Man, in the meantime, he has the, um, the farmhouse. And he's been moving on to the left of Luvmo. Maybe that Calv was sort of like to try and uh, pin a, a flank of his opponent and try to overwhelm the other side, but Luvmo's too smart for that. He pulls out, pulling out with lines of fire taking shots. And now Point Man's Rally is about to wear out. He's going to get the Sword Dojo eventually, but we'll have to see how much that's actually going to help him. Oh no, he's running out of the... Radius of the sword dojo, so he's not gonna capture. Oh no, no, he got oh, a spear yeah, levy yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, he has That's a fine. There. So let's take a look at the casualties so far. Uh, Luvmo has lost a good bit of cav. Um, two units uh, down to half strength. Two others pretty much untouched. Whereas um, Point Man's cavalry has been completely removed from the equation. And uh, here we see Luvmo. Um, trying to capture the sword dojo, recapture the sword dojo. I think what Lovma wants to do is he wants to just go like over the river and get on the other side and shoot him up from there. I don't know. As he tries to cross the water, I'm not sure if that's what he wants to do. But I mean, his his uh, Royal Marines, not the United States Marines, almost got caught. But now the general appointment got. Shot up pretty bad and lost nine men. Some great, some great sniping here through the trees. Point man is desperately trying to catch Luvmo's line here. Um, he's getting shot. He's getting pelted. Luvmo doing a good job kiting. We'll see how long he can pull this off. He's he's kiting with one unit, falling back, doing a lot of damage to Point Man. And you the know, one I think. Thing can be yeah, go ahead. That for sure is that uh, Point Man's gonna have the downhill advantage right now and he's just charging downhill with this shogitai into the inferior shogitai of uh, Lovemo so that's probably gonna win that engagement but we'll have to see how Lovemo's shooter units, shooter infantry and his general... Oh, Lovemo's doing a horrible job with his cav right now getting them stuck on this one spear levy what is he doing? he's gonna need to use that cav well he's gonna just run past hit this shogitai from the rear and this is, I guess, the danger of having a hill advantage, is that if your opponent has cab and you don't, he can just easily surround you, and then he'll have a hill advantage. Yeah. And now the Sword Dojo is in Lovmo's hands yes. once again. Back to Lovmo here, over here on the left flank. Point Man is actually having some success. His Shogatai is beating Lovmo's uh, own Shogatai, and now he's using his Spear Levy to surround this Black Tortoise force. The middle, middle, Looking very bleak for uh, for Point Man here. There's this very powerful United States Marines just laying down fire on uh, Point Man's troops, and I think at this stage it's safe to say that it's going to be a very very uh, hard battle for Point Man uh, unless uh, he can miraculously manage to hold the guns of uh, Luvmo down. And seeing that Luvmo's general is a Bushido slash gun general, it's going to be an even harder task. Yeah, it's like, even if Point Man somehow takes out the infantry of uh, Lovemo, I mean, Lovemo is still going to have that general and he's going to be able to run around and shoot, keep kiting until all of Point Man's units are off the field. From the battlefield, <coughs> sir. And even here on the left flank, these spear levy aren't... Uh... They're starting to waver. Black Tortoise Force on over. Yeah, I, I think this is pretty His much over. Severe, but your general will live. Yeah, a lot of units uh, are yeah, wavering goes, right now. There's the general. Uh, yeah, this is it. I think this is going to end the match here. One last honorable charge by the Shogatai. They're probably going to get some kills before they get uh, taken out by uh, Lugmo's guns. So what do you think uh, Point Man did wrong in this battle? Well, 
It's the classic mistake of allowing your opponent to have two dojos before the engagement starts. Like you should have should have done something to keep the dojos at least out of Lovemo's hands, not necessarily taken them for himself. Just kept it out of Lovemo's hands. So like that actually really helped out in the cav battle and it sort of like mitigated the melee advantage that point man had. I mean he did have superior melee units in the beginning, but that wasn't so much uh, anymore after Lovemo got for Dojo and Workshop. Yeah, I totally Obvious. agree. Um, I think uh, Point Man letting his opponent take the two, I th I'd say, uh, more important uh, dojos. I guess he did need the farmhouse to be able to run around the way he did, but uh, the way he used his scav for me was the thing that uh, cost him this fight. He brought an army that I think Luvmo expected. Um, Point Man is known for his sort of melee builds, large army builds that uh, surround your army and sort of uh, force you back. And I think Luvmo uh, sort of countered that in terms of build-wise. Um, he brought powerful cav, he brought some guns and some melee to be able to hold Point Man's troops and fire and then retreat. Uh, I think he just um, he just played this really well and Point Man rushed into the fight without really thinking of the consequences of what was going to happen, especially with the cav fight. In the, in the beginning, like he had a Yari catch unit that was almost sacrificed. Yeah, yeah. So to say, for like almost no reason whatsoever. But you can see the game is actually still really close. Yeah, the game is uh, is, is is still somehow close. I think he it removed the spear levy here, but uh, it's gonna be very very difficult for Point Man here to. Uh, He's doing a good job. He's, I think he's doing the best that he can given the units that he has. Uh, but it's going to be very, very hard for him to really do anything. He actually caught the United States Marines, oh, but even if that happens, the general is going to charge into the Shogatai. Yeah, these Marines just need to hold. And those Shogatai do incredible damage. Uh, but here come the uh, general, general charge. That's going to take care of that. Oh, look. Uh, oh, wow. Luvmo stops his Black Tortoise force. Your men are running, sir. A bit risky. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is a bit risky. I would have just kept running. So now, uh, this is interesting. But that block tourist force is actually doing, uh, doing better than uh, than that spear levy. Now they're both wavering. So this is spear actually. Spear levy's got more numbers. So. Yeah, I think Pointman is doing a great job, um, considering all uh, all factors here. He's got two more spear levies. Realistically speaking, if Luvmo doesn't do any major mistakes um, it's probably going to go in his way but I mean I haven't seen a high level battle recently that was you know just a total landslide it just seems most of them are really close like this yeah it's true and the US Marines are gonna fire oh there goes the Arikachi <laughs> it should be that is a sour ending for a great run up a hill and uh, there, there goes the the other GG, <laughs> three GGs so far. <laughs> yeah. And that's gonna wrap it up. For game number one, and Good now game. we'll see how um, Point Man's gonna respond to this. He's gonna be able to tie up the series.